Afrotech uh, conference in Germany. Two days I've been traveling, I'm tired. But well, it's the next day today, so I have time to sleep. But um, one of the things I learned, man, you know, when you hustle, you're not experiencing pain, you're not hustling hard enough. And I don't care, you know, what level you get in, but um, you gotta stay hungry. You gotta stay hungry, man. Um, I really love uh, what's happening here. I already met some great guys uh, from different companies in Africa, some artists some companies and I'll be documenting all that on the video, keep it posted. Uh, it'll be a very interesting uh, video because that's the first time I'm part of the conference that focus on African technology in an artistic way. Uh, I just would love to show some of those uh, document, I mean, some of those uh, imagery I see, man, it's crazy. But uh, let, me check. Let, 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 me, let me make some more videos about what's happening. Man, you know, life is already hard enough as it is. Especially when you get out of college and um, you're pretty much on your own and you gotta figure out how life works, man. I remember when I got to the States and I was in college and I, I had to figure it out. And, you know, high school, kindergarten, um, that's easy, man. Your family, your parents take care of you. But college and, and the real world, it's a whole nother ball game. And because life is so hard, man, why do we spend time doing stuff we don't even like? You know, if it's gonna be painful, I, I'd rather dedicate my life doing something I'm passionate about. Because pain will come, regardless of who you are, unless you come from a silver spoon family. That's a whole nother topic, and that's a different type of pain you'll experience. But if you're a regular Joe like me, and you come from you know a humble beginning, uh, middle class, whatever the case that is, then uh, you're gonna have some hard time. And if you're gonna live the hard time, why are you gonna live hard time doing something you don't like? It doesn't make any sense, you know? Why, why are you gonna do something that you're not even happy about? Because it's gonna be painful either way, you know, it's gonna be painful. And and the worst thing you can do is when you chase your dream is to listen to the wrong people. I can't tell you how many times people be listening to the wrong voice, you know, whether it's friends, even family members, man. And they mean well, but at the same time, man, I, I wish the negativity will be, you know, separate. Like, if, if you want to be unhappy, if you, if you don't believe in yourself, if you, if you just got negative thoughts to talk, just, just find some other guys who are not trying to accomplish anything and just talk to them. Why you got to come talk to me and tell me my, my, my goals, my dreams, my ideas will not work? You know, I, I never understood that things, man. You know, and why do we pay attention to this noise, man? Why are you going to... You know, keep an ear to somebody that ain't got nothing positive to say. First of all, before you even ask a question to anyone, look where they're at. You know, look what they're doing. You know, look what they accomplished. Um, and if if they're in the same shithole that you you is, you know, uh, in the same situation you you are, why are you gonna listen to them? You know, and and it, it is true that. Uh, you know, negativity, they say misery, love, company. That is absolutely true. You know, and success also love, company. You know, I just, I just wish there was two exits. People can choose. You want to be miserable, you go this way. You want to be successful, you go that way. And then nobody mingle, you know. Start polluting people's idea and people's mind. But, um, but yeah, man, so, so. It's gonna be painful. Be careful who you listen to because those are the few things that will dictate where you're gonna be in life. You know, we only got one life to live, man. I'm 40, 
I'm looking back, man, 40 years of my life, you know, gone. And, and thank God I don't have a lot of regrets. Well, everybody got regrets, but not not that many. And it's, it's never too late for me now to change, and I did change, you know. I moved back home. That was the first move I made. Everybody was against that move. You know, I, I started this business, um, social impact, developing a product. You know, I didn't listen to nobody. People were telling me it's not gonna work. A lot of people were telling me this is not the way to go. You know, I didn't listen. I've accomplished more in four years than I did in 16 years in, in the States. You know, all that because I followed. Now, is it, is it still painful? Yeah. You know, it's a hard time, man. It's, it's a lot of stress. It's a lot of things I gotta worry about, but I'm happy. I'm happy because those are cho choices I made. Nobody made those choices for me. I wake up every morning. My best day is Monday. You know, how many people you know who can tell you their best day is Monday? Most people love the weekend because they hate their job. They hate their day to day life. You know, I love my weekdays, man. It's, it's challenging. It's what I want to do. You know, nobody tells me uh, what to do. You know, it's just I, I hustle, I go through hell, but the shit. It's, it's the hell I chose to, you know? Nobody chose that hell for me. And I know that it's gonna be light at the end of the tunnel, you know? So, so make sure you pick your choice, man. Make sure you live your life, not somebody else's life, you know? Make sure you listen to what you have inside you. Don't listen to somebody else trying to define who you are, you know? Who they are is not who you are. So you need to follow your own dreams, you know? So you're gonna fail, who cares? So what, fail 20, 100 times, 1,000 times, but keep going, you know? Because at the end of the day, when you get close to your gasket, you know, when I, when I get on my deathbed, hopefully it'll be a peaceful uh, 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 getaway, but if I get on my deathbed and I look up and I see my family, my kids, you know what I'm gonna say? Hey, just I hope you're gonna follow what I did, which is follow my own dreams. I'm not gonna say, man, don't do what I did, you know, like a lot of people do. Don't follow my dreams, you know, don't don't follow what I did. So 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 all those things it's key guys, you know, and too many of us, too many of us just get lost in peer pressure because they have low self-esteem. They don't trust, they don't trust their instinct, they don't believe in themselves, you know, and they listen to the wrong people. So I, I hope you're going to hear that, man. If, if you got to, if you got to remember one thing is listen to your instinct, listen to your dreams, you know, listen to what you want to accomplish, looks what makes you happy and then struggle to get it because everything is a struggle.